guys what is up and welcome back to my channel it has been a while since I've said that line <laughs> let me tell you um, I have not made a video I think since last summer which is really sad I just got caught up in work and I just was not in a motivated headspace for a while um, so I wasn't really making videos so we are back because what else could we do during quarantine time than make YouTube videos I just did a get ready with me to kind of get myself back into the flow of things um, I used the new well newer now it's been out for a while um, but the Jaclyn Hill palette to create this eye look um, I used some new products they're new to me and then some newer products that just came out so we have a lot of good stuff today in this video so if you want to stick around definitely don't forget to subscribe Comment down below what you would like to see next or what you want to see on my channel. Um, give the video a thumbs up, please, because I would really appreciate it. Also, I have pink hair now. This is what quarantine does to you. You dye your hair. And let's jump straight into the video. Um, my TikTok, by the way, is... Nicole Bruno 958 And it's pretty much all I have done is watch TikTok and made TikToks since last Monday, since I've been out of work. Yep. Okay, for foundation, I've been using the NARS Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Gobi, um, and I just use it on an e.l.f. sponge. I just kind of just put it on my face directly, like so. And then I just blend it out with the sponge. Alright. So, and then uh, recently, Ulta's having like their 21 Days of Beauty. I think it's still going on. Um, and Tarte Shape Tape was $13.50 one day. So, I got myself one of those in... Uh, fair light neutral. I used to use this all the time and then I kind of started using drugstore ones just because like this is $27 normally but it was on sale so I snagged it up. Alright and then for powder um, I just got this from CVS, uh, yesterday, I want to say, so I haven't used it yet. Uh, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose, um, finishing powder, and, um, I got the lightest shade Fair, just because, yeah, we're fair, so, oh, it's taped, oh boy. We're just gonna pour some in the cap. Looks nice. I've been using the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick um, to cream contour. So I have it in the shade Dominica. We're just going to place it on all the areas that are going to contour. And then I use a Real Techniques brush. Where is it? Um, this is, I think, the setting brush. And you just use it to blend it out. So when you're blending, make sure you blend upwards to um, your forehead instead of downwards, otherwise it will make you look like you have a droopy cheekbone and you want that to be lifted. It's the whole point of contouring. So make sure you're blending upwards. I've been trying to stay on top of working out. I was training for a triathlon. I was like two weeks into training when the whole gym started closing down and the quarantine came into play. So um, I've been trying to just do things either outside around the house or um, running outside, biking outside. It sucks because now I can't do the swimming because the gyms are closed, but um, who knows if the triathlon is even happening. I was going to sign up for a sprint in April, so who knows if that's even a thing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys are doing keep yourself busy um and if you're working let me know uh 
what you do. Um, so you obviously are an essential worker, which means that you're probably doing something in a hospital or healthcare. Um, and I just wanted to thank you for helping us all out and continuing to go to work when I know it's probably really scary right now. This is literally one of my favorite products I've ever used. Um, this is the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush, and this is in the shade 140, Rose Rose Romance. Say that ten times fast. Um, you need a little bit. Like, a little goes a long way. I found that out the hard way the first uh, week I was wearing this. I had clown cheeks. So, be careful. <laughs> and I use this it cosmetics brush to just blend it out. Um, I don't swipe around because that will move your contour and all that. You just want to tap it into the skin. And I mainly focus right here on the apples of the cheek. And then I follow the contour and follow it back into my hairline. It's just such a nice, easy product to use. And it looks so natural. Like you're, you just look like you have a nice flush. I love this stuff. They have a bunch of different colors, so I definitely want to pick up more colors. We're going to take the Jaclyn Cosmetics palette. Um, this is the, yeah, the flash one, so the lighter one. Um, and I just kind of take them all. So pretty. And I highlight pretty much everywhere. I love a good nose highlight. Oh, such a good product. Let's do our brows. Um, I've been using the Ulta Brow Pomade in taupe for forever. This product has lasted me so long. I think this is an Anastasia brush. I am lucky I have pretty thick eyebrows so I don't need to do much as far as shaping my brows. I just kind of need to fill in some of the sparse areas. So I just do a tiny bit like right up here is kind of where it's sparse and I follow it down to the tail, make the tail a little longer. And then I make like a little line here and then just push up to make little hair like strokes. And then we're just gonna blend it out again. I take the same side, the spoolie, and just brush them out. And then I take, this is like my favorite brow product and it's literally I think it's either $2.99 or $4.99, I'm not too sure. But this is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. So I just brush this over my brows just to set them in place and give any extra areas that have sparseness an extra layer. I don't know why it's so dark, but uh, I guess we're going to have to work with it. Um, we're using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Palette. Um, I'm just going to take a Morphe M504 and I'm going to dip into the shade Perfectionist. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush. I'm going to take my Sigma E25. I'm going to dip into a little bit of a deeper brown. I'm going to go into G Money. I'm going to focus this right on this outer V here. So at first I'm going to tap the product on to get the color payoff and then I'm going to blend it out. When you tap the product in place at first it just gives you better color payoff and then you can blend out the edges. Alright, um, on that same brush I'm going to take um, like a cherry color. I'm going to dip into crazy just a tiny bit, again doing the same type of motions, tapping that product into place and then blending out those edges. Alright, now I'm going to take on my finger Ride or Diamonds. This is what it looks like and we're going to place that all over the lid. And then we're going to go back into our E25 and just tap and blend out. I didn't add any extra product, I'm just working with what's ever on my brush. And on a pencil brush, I want to do like a pop of pink. 
So I'm going to take Tipsy Girl, which is like bright pink. I'm going to stamp this on the lower lash line. I'm going to take like a little bit of a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go into Lolly Mama, which is a deeper pink. We're just going to blend this out. I purchased the new Lash Stiletto Ultimate Length Mascara. This is the famous Maddie from The Bachelor. Um, this is apparently what she used. Um, I'll insert a picture of her here so you can see her lashes. They're freaking crazy. Um, she must just have long lashes to begin with. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get my lashes like that, but hopefully this does some type of magic for my lashes. All right, let's try. Um, this is one coat of mascara, the difference. Definitely um, made my lashes look a little longer than I feel like some mascaras do. Let's do the other eye and a second coat so this is what it looks like with two coats on. It kind of was a pain to get it to look like this. But it does look really good so it was worth it. Um, I'm just going to go back into my highlighter and I'm just going to tap into the top one which is the lightest shade which is Gleam. And just highlight the inner corner and my brow bone. I like using the same highlighter to highlight these areas that I use on my face because it kind of like ties the whole look together, you know? Alright, we are in a different location because I needed to use my ring light because we lost some light. But <laughs> for lips, I'm going to be using the NYX Filler Instinct and this is in the shade Beach Casual. I just got this from Ulta. And it's really nice and hydrating. It's supposed to be a plumping, yeah, a plumping lip color, but maybe I feel a little tingly, but not much. And I'm definitely not one for, like, the tingling that um, the Too Faced Extreme cannot do. Um, I'm just going to top it off with the Fenty Gloss, and this is just the universal shade. Alright, this is the completed look. We are looking super glowy, glossy, we got pops of color. Obviously, I'm a fan of pink. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's good to be back, that's for sure. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave because, like I said, we are going to be banging out content. I have absolutely nothing to do during this quarantine time. Let me know down below what you've been doing to keep yourself occupied because I always need ideas of what I can do during the day. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye guys.